Hello, today we are going to discuss about uh, calculate ground state energy of a harmonic oscillator um, by variation principle. I mean, variation method. Variation method is one of the approximation method. By using variation method, we can estimate the ground state energy of the given system. Here we have the Hamiltonian of the harmonic. Uh, oscillator is kinetic energy plus potential energy so how we can calculate ground state energy by variation principle or variation method the variations principle already know that it states that the uh, estimate ground state energy is always greater than or equal to the uh, calculated energy so is already there last class we are already discussing for that uh, variation principle see here this is the so ground state energy is always greater than or equal to the this calculated energy which means the uh, expectation value of the uh, given system energy okay so there are the four basic steps are involving to calculate uh, uh, energy of this uh, harmonic oscillator first one is we need to guess one trial wave function here we have a gaussian trial wave function this is gaussian trial wave function the first step we need to normalize this trial wave function Second step is here. The second step is find uh, the energy of the given system. Okay, expectation value of the energy of the system, the kinetic energy plus potential energy. Next third step is minimize with respect to this energy with adjustable parameters. Then substitute the adjustable parameter values into this wave function. I'm sorry, into this energy value. Then we can get the ground state energy. So after th these are the four steps involving to calculate ground state energy of given system. The first step is normalize the trial wave function. Second step is find the expectation value of the Hamiltonian. <coughs> Uh, third step is minimize the adjustable uh, minimize this energy with respect to adjustable parameters so here we should focus something it minimize the minimize this energy this is uh, energy of the system after calculating this uh, energy we can get one equation here so that equation it is a function of uh, adjustable parameters then we can minimize that energy with respect to these adjustable parameters then we can get adjustable parameter value like here i am using the alpha is the adjustable parameters then we can get alpha value then substitute this alpha value here second step i mean uh, expectation value of energy then we can get the hamiltonian system i mean hamiltonian uh, energy of the system ground state energy of the harmonic oscillator so here the first step is normalization step okay first step is the normalization step so here by using this gaussian trial wave function so we can get this a value a is the constant value so, so suppose if you use this equation here then you can get this uh, a value constant value 2 alpha divided by pi whole power 1 divided by 4 second step is find the expectation value of this h right so what is h hamiltonian is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy right so here i am using this uh so it is better to write here 
to just wait. This is kinetic energy plus potential energy, right? So suppose if I use this kinetic energy equal to 1 divided by h cross square divided by 2m, this is kinetic energy, this is the potential energy. This is our Gaussian trial wave function, right? Gaussian trial wave function, and the a is the a square. So then you can simplify this equation according to the basic uh, mathematical steps. So here I derived step by step. Uh, this derivation here. So if you extend this value here, then you can get this uh, Hamiltonian kinetic energy plus potential energy value. So for example, here the d square divided by dx square exponential minus alpha x square is two after two times derivative with respect to x. I got this equation. Okay, greening line. Okay, so after sub we know this equation and the, this integral or integral minus infinity plus infinity x square e power minus or two alpha x square dx is equal to one formula is a one divided by alpha here. See here one divided by alpha equal to one divided by this one. 1 divided by 4 alpha root of i divided by 2 alpha after using these equations so after simplifying all these things then we got this final resultant minimization energy of the system this one h is equal to h cross square alpha divided by 2m plus <coughs> m omega square divided by 8 alpha so here this uh, h cross square alpha divided by 2m is the kinetic energy this is the potential energy in case uh, whenever we are using in csr net get just exams no need to calculate this gaussian wave function in terms of the kinetic energy so this is the value so kinetic energy of this System equal to h cross square alpha divided by 2m. We need to remember this formula always. Otherwise, you need to derive these steps. Okay, this is the fixed value. So remember one more point also here. So whenever you calculate your own uh, fashion style. This way function for example here i'm using the adjustable parameter the alpha so this is the adjustable parameter if you got here the adjustable parameter alpha here remember this one this is adjustable parameter in kinetic energy potential energy you got here the adjustable parameters so remember these two steps okay so second step is over what is the second step to find ground state energy of the given system which means the expectation uh, uh, value of uh, not expectation value here the approximated uh, value of the energy okay approximated value of the energy so because uh, in variation method we are using trial wave for the trial wave function is the approximation trial wave function right so we got the approximation energy of the given system then we can compare what is the best value is closely related to the uh, energy of the system okay so then you can minimize this energy with respect to adjustable parameter so alpha is there here right so this is the third step involving here is here alpha is the adjustable parameter i'm going to minimize with respect to this alpha our uh, energy energy so this energy is depends upon this variable parameter adjustable parameters h cross square alpha divided by 2m plus 2m omega square divided by 80 alpha 
If you minimize with respect to alpha here, this given energy, if you minimize with respect to alpha. So we can get this alpha value. So alpha here I got m omega divided by 2 h cross. Then the final step is substitute this adjustable parameter value, the approximate value of the energy. Where is that approximation value of the energy? So this is our approximation value of energy, right? Approximation value of energy. Then here we got this alpha value. Alpha here is there, right? This is alpha. Alpha we got, right? This is alpha. So substitute this alpha here okay that is the final answer see here the fourth step substitute alpha in approximate value of energy so this is our energy system then substitute alpha value then we can got the final answer of this uh, harmonic oscillator energy that is uh, E naught is equal to H cross omega divided by 2. This is the ground state energy of the harmonic oscillator. So we already know many times we calculate this harmonic oscillator energy N is equal to 1 plus 1 divided by 2. Just wait. <laughs> this is the energy. Ground state energy of the harmonic oscillator. Okay. H cross omega divided by So remember this one no need to calculate all these things so whenever we are using Gaussian wave function then we can calculate the first uh, kinetic energy and potential energy of the given system then minimize the energy with respect to adjustable parameter then substitute this adjustable parameter into this approximation value of the system then you can get the um, ground state energy of the given system so this is the one of the example of uh, simplest example of a uh, well-known harmonic oscillator problem so next class we are going to calculate some other level problem